Hey everyone, Mayhem coming to you live from the Discord dimension of another episode of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews. And wow, this is our first episode not to be focused on an episode from the main series. We are reviewing the January 16 through 17 beta test of uh, uh, Legends of Equestria. Now, this was a beta test for the new game... Legends of Equestria, created by the Legends of Equestria c uh, crew, to be a uh, My Little Pony related MMO RPG. So I started playing this. I was gonna do an episode on it, but I couldn't get enough good commentary to make a whole video out of it. So I decided I'd just review it. Now, when I first got into this game, I was pretty annoyed. And at first, I thought the game was bad. My first impressions was this is laggy. The game looks kind of ugly, uh, and there's nothing to do except walk around. And this is that was what I was going to complain about for the whole review. But, out of the blue, Little Sai Fim, uh, a great pony YouTuber who does the Cinemare Sin series, did a live stream of it. And all my perceptions of it being bad were blown away. I just realized it's because my Mac could not handle the pressure of Legends of Equestria. When he was doing it, the game had zero lag because of his much better computer. Uh, zero lag... Uh, well... It, the only time it got lag was when he was flooded by hundreds of people trying to meet him. Other than that, there was almost no lag at all. I got, like, one frame every two seconds where he got, like, at least 30 frames per second. Uh, so that perception of mine was gone. And the looking bad thing. On his screen, everything looked good. It was just my computer just couldn't handle the graphics, so everything looked kind of polygony. But when it was on his screen, it all looked really good. So this game looks really good. And, uh, quests. It just turned out that I was wrong. There's no real, uh, well, I thought there were no quests or anything yet. Turns out there are. It's just, uh, it didn't tell me or, like, anybody how to find them. You have to kind of know where they are if you ever want to complete any of the missions or just happen upon them because, to my knowledge, there's no, there was no way to really, uh, look it up and, uh, like, in the game, there was no direction telling you this is where you go to complete your mission. So that's a bit of a problem, but this is still a beta game, so it passes. Uh, when I was really looking at this game, I thought this game would be super fun to play with friends because Little Siphon proved that with his excellent live stream of playing it and just hanging out with his friends, uh, giving boopsies to all the ponies he saw. It was just a grand old time, that live stream. I enjoyed it. And it's much better to watch someone with a really good rig play it than play it on a system that it's just going to be super laggy because I could do hardly anything. Uh, but I'd have to say it was overall fun. As you can see in the video, I fought some timber wolves. I also fought a dragon off screen, but I don't know how to fight, and my game was too laggy to really let me fight. If, uh, if you can even really fight with those c uh, controls, my computer wouldn't allow me because it was just going way too slow for it to really hit anything. So I was just awful at fighting. Uh, so other so you need to have a decent computer to play this. My MacBook Pro is not really handling it very well. But other than that, I say the game is coming along very well. At this rate, by the time it's done, it's going to be a really good game, I can tell. And if I had a good computer, it would be like the best to play ever. So... Rating this as a beta game and not as an entire game since it is not complete yet, I'll have to give it 4 out of 5 stars. The only thing holding it back from being 5 out of 5 stars for a beta game is the fact that there was no easily accessible way to uh, find quests that I know of, and I the combat system didn't really seem to be fully implemented. But other than that, everything looks really good. The models are good. The collectibles are cool. Uh, I'd have to say that this has the potential to be something really amazing when it's completed, and I can't wait for the next beta test. Well, until uh, what do you think? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Did you participate in this public beta? If you did, or if you have something to say about my review, leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So, until next time... I'm Mayhem, coming to you live from the Discord dimension, and goodbye!